Some virus diseases. Some virus diseases of greenhouse plants have symptoms that are kind of subtle and it's not easy to recognize them as a virus. This Nemesia plant, for example, um, looks like it may be infected with impatience necrotic spot virus. That is one of those viruses that can look like other diseases. Uh, in this case, it looks like uh, botrytis, gray mold. We can test for this disease, however, to determine definitively if it is a virus. It's important to recognize this as a virus disease because it is vectored by thrips and it has a wide host range. So it can be on Nemesia, it can be on a New Guinea patients, garden impatience, uh, and many other hosts in a greenhouse. All right, so we're looking for spots and brown areas on this Nemesia, and that's going to be an indication of this virus disease. And it is really subtle here and can look like other problems, but uh, generally there is some symmetry, there's some arcing, and uh, some brown areas. Here we have one leaf that has some symptoms that could be really confused with a lot of different problems. This, however, is due to impatience necrotic spot virus. So we're using a test that is from a company called Agdea. There are other test kits out there. They provide instructions, but basically they're going to tell you to take a sample the equivalent to a size of a quarter. So we'll take several leaves that have symptoms on them And then we'll put them in this bag that contains mesh. It contains a, a solution, a liquid solution, that the tissue is ground in. And you'll see that it's pretty simple to do this. Uh, you simply put the sample that you collected that is showing symptoms. It's important to get the portion of the plants that's showing symptoms because that's where the virus, if it's there, is going to be in high enough concentration to be recognized. Then you cut the envelope open, you uh, rub it just with the back of the scissors or anything that's firm. And very quickly you have this solution that if the virus particles are in the plant, they're released into this uh, solution. You can see it's green there. And then from there, the really the last step of this process, other than reading it, is taking your test strip out. This test strip is embedded with antibodies, so it'll be able to recognize if virus particles are there. We simply put this in so the bottom portion of it is in the solution. The solution gets wicked up through the stick, and then in about five minutes we can read this. All right, so after about five minutes, we're able to read the results. And uh, in this case, it was positive. We have the control line at the top, and that's just telling us that the test is working. That's there whether the plant is positive or negative for the virus. And here we have the indicator line, and that's saying that this plant has impatience necrotic spot virus. These uh, test strips cost about $4, 4 to $5 each, and they're normally bought in uh, a multi-pack.